Hello dear students, welcome once again to our channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. Today's clip 87, Time and Speed, Part 5. In first four parts of Time and Speed, we have learned basic concept convergence, also few shortcut tricks. I have begun with train problems in part 4 only and now this is part 5, some more train problems we are going to solve. There is variety of problems in train and in every part I am covering a different variety. So today let us see what variety we are going to cover. Problems that a train crosses an electric pole or a tree or a man. You must have read these type of questions. So first let us understand this concept. Suppose this is one electric pole or tree. Consider this as electric pole or tree. This is the train. Now this train is going to pass this electric pole. So now it has started moving. So this train is moving now. It has come to this point and now it is moving and it is going to cross, cross this pole. So it is moving and now it has crossed the pole. Did you see? What did you see? See I am explaining again. The train is now crossing this pole, electric pole or tree, so it is moving. At this point, can you say it has crossed the pole? No. At this point, can you say it has crossed the pole? No. Now, yes, now it has crossed the pole. So, how much distance did this train cover to cross the pole? From here it started. And now you say it crossed the pole. That means this train has covered the distance equal to its own length. From here it started and now it has crossed the pole. That means to cross this pole or this tree, this train has covered the distance which is equal to its length. Ye jo distance hai, length, khud ki length, jo train ki khud ki length hai, utna distance train ne cover kiya to cross this pole. Getting it? Now let's see a question based on same principle. How many seconds will a train 150 meter long running at the speed of 108 kmph take to pass an electric pole? They can also mention tree instead of electric pole or a man which is the man who is standing. So a train can pass, pass a man or a tree or electric pole. The object should be stationary, non-moving object. So we just now saw when a train passes a pole, the distance traveled by it is equal to its length, own length. Now here they have mentioned length of train is 150 meter. So what is D here? Distance 150 meter. How much time does it take? We do not know. So question is time. In seconds it will pass it. So some time in seconds. Now this is in meter and the speed is given in kilometer per hour. So what we need to do? First we need to convert this to meter per second. And how do we convert? We just multiply it by 5 upon 18. 18 1s are 18, 18 6s are 108, 6 5s are 30. So speed is 30 meters per second. Speed is equal to distance upon time. So time is equal to distance upon speed. Distance is 150, speed is 30, so 150 upon 30 that is 5 seconds that will be your answer. This is again one oral problem, here just you need to understand this principle. When a train crosses any steady object such as a tree or a pole or a standing man, then the distance covered by it is equal to length of train. Distance covered by that train is equal to length of train. Let's solve some more examples. You must have also seen the problems of train crossing a platform. Suppose this is a platform, this black square, this black rectangle is a platform and this train is crossing this platform. So it has started moving. Now the train is moving. At this point, can you say it has crossed the platform? No. At this point, can you say it has crossed the platform? No. At this point, again no. Now can you say it has crossed the platform? 
yes now it has crossed the platform so this train it began from here it started crossing a platform and when it arrived here you said that it has crossed the platform so how much distance did it cover to cross the platform from here to here so distance of platform and plus its own length ye jab pura usne cross kiya ye pura ka pura platform ka length plus khud ka length yahan se yahan tak only then you can say it has crossed the platform that means when a train crosses the platform the length the distance covered by the train is equal to length of platform plus length of train got my point now let's solve a question based on that principle how many seconds will a train 100 meter long running at the speed of 72 kmph take to cross a platform of length 140 meter so just now what we saw when a train crosses a platform then the distance is the the distance covered by train is equal to length of train plus length of platform so here what will be the distance length of train is 100 length of platform is 140 so 100 plus 140 that is 240 meter will be the distance time question mark in seconds we we want how much time did it take and the speed is 72 kmph this is meter and this is second so we have to convert it to meter per second so multiplied by 5 by 18 18 ones are 18 fours are Four five are twenty. So speed is twenty. Speed is equal to distance upon time. So take t here and bring s here. So t is equal to distance upon speed. Distance is two forty. Speed is twenty. So answer is twelve seconds. Understood this principle? So what we learned? We learned that when a train crosses a pole or tree or a standing man. then the distance covered by train is equal to its own length length of train but when a train crosses a platform then the distance covered by train is equal to length of train plus length of platform a 100 meter long train running at the speed of 20 meters per second crosses the platform in 12 seconds find the length of platform so how much is the distance covered distance covered will be length of train plus length of platform we do not know length of platform so i am assuming it as l length of train is given to me as 100 so d is going to be 100 plus l in meters everything is in meter speed is in meter per second so here we do not need to convert t is 12 so let's substitute everything speed is equal to distance upon time So twenty is equal to hundred plus l upon twelve. Take this twelve here; it becomes two forty. So two forty is equal to hundred plus l. Twelve multiplied by twenty, that is two forty, is equal to hundred plus l. So l is equal to one forty meter. So length of platform is one forty meters. Let's solve one more. A man is waiting for a train on a platform. a train passes him in 5 seconds running at the speed of 90 kmph find the length of train this question is particularly given to confuse the candidate what they are saying here the question is about a train passing a man a standing man it's like train passing a tree or a train passing the a pole but they have purposely mentioned a man is standing on the platform so what happens a student thinks oh man now it's a platform so i have to add length of train and then length of platform both things should be added but that is not the case here is the question about train passing a platform or crossing a platform no the question is about the train crossing a man so usko platform pe khada rehna do ya patri pe baju mein khade rehne do kuch farak nahi padta hai so this is just to confuse you now how to solve this T is five that is mentioned. A train is crossing a man. That means distance is equal to length of train. That is the question. What is the length of train? So D is the question. And what is the speed? 
speed is 90 km ph so this is in seconds let us convert it into meter per second by multiplying by 5 by 18 18 ones are 18 fives are 5 fives are 25 meters per second so speed is equal to distance upon time 25 is equal to d d is unknown t is 5 that is given so d is equal to 5 ko idhar leke jao 25 fives are 125 so distance is 125 meters that means length of train is 125 meters got it so here there is no relevance of length of platform uska kuch sawal hi nahi hai yahan par length of train that is only the question in this same question instead of asking length of train if they ask you what is length of platform then what will be your answer your answer will be data insufficient because in the problem they have not mentioned that how much time train takes to cross the platform they have not mentioned it they have just mentioned how much time the train takes to pass a man standing on platform and hence to find the length of platform this data is insufficient data sufficiency mein hamesha aise confusing questions aate hain so i just added this extra element in our question if they ask length of platform and they have not given you the time required to cross the platform then straight away you can say data is insufficient let's solve one more question the length of train is 50 meter less than the length of platform it crosses the platform in 10 seconds with the speed of 30 meter per second find the length of platform so here train is crossing the platform that means how much distance does it cover length of train plus length of track uh, length of platform that much we know now what else is given to us have they given us two different lengths what is length of train what is length of platform they have not given us so i am assuming it as lp and lt length of platform and length of train now length of train is 50 meters less than length of platform so that means the difference between their lengths is 50 length of platform is more than length of train so lp minus lt is equal to 50 this is given to us i am calling it as equation number one what else is given to us it crosses the platform in 10 seconds with this speed so speed is given to us speed is 30 speed is equal to distance upon time time is 10 and what is the distance when the train crosses the platform distance is equal to lp plus lt so i have mentioned it in this formula now take 10 here so 300 so lp plus lt is 300 this is equation number two now we have two simultaneous equations x plus y x minus y wala hi equation jese hota hai same here our variables are lp and lt so how how can we solve this lp minus lt is 50 lp plus lt is 300 if i just add them lt lt will get eliminated and 2 lp will be 350 50 plus 300 350 2 LP is 350, so LP divide this side by 2, we get 175. So length of platform is 175, that is the question. You can also find length of train using these equations. Length of train will be 125, 50 meters less than length of platform, that's what is mentioned in the question. So LT is 125. Got this one? So length of platform is 175, length of train is 125. So today with the help of these three models, I tried to explain you the concept of train crossing a pole or platform. I hope you understood. My drawing is uh, very bad, so please uh, pardon me for that. In next part, I am going to cover the topic of uh, relative speed, that is two trains reaching each other from opposite directions or a man is walking and then the train passes it those type of questions so it's not a stationary object uh, here today what we let's see platform is also stationary pole is also stationary they are not moving and the train is only moving but in next part in relevant relative speed i'm going to cover when both objects are moving 
a train is following a walking man or two trains are coming towards each other those type of problems i'm going to cover in next part this train problem has a variety of problems so in every part i'll cover a different variety if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel maths in minutes with priya please do so it's absolutely free so see you in the next part till then stay happy stay blessed bye for today